everyone this video we are going to discuss about ajay methodologies in rp <coughs> how ajay will work in rp if these questions are satisfied then we can go for a child where is the rpa applicable which means where the rpa automation process is applicable is the security team approved to implement rpa what will be the approved so and the third one is opportunities for rpa identified see the already identified this is the automation this is the one this is the steps everything is clear that point will cover opportunities of rpa identified and the fourth one is our business benefits quantified so these are the steps are correct and it would be it would be same point then we can go with rpa with agile methodologies otherwise unless and until the process is matured or fully grown we can't go with agile methodologies see here agile approach how agile will approach here you can see build a team how you can build a agile team see afterwards we will see what is the agile team and map and review the process first you have to map and review all the process based on the tool third thing is you have to create a robot jani map based on the tool which you selected and based on the process you have and the fourth step is release release is the best and uh, complete plan for the child and for fifth one is develop your robot you have to develop test everything under the this uh, complementary the next thing is you have to deploy a robot deployment is all about uh, very important so the first point we have to go is build an agile team how you can build an agile team see here you can build first thing is business analyst business analyst data analysts are very important to learn the process to identify the process to automate the process the second thing is robot developer go with the developer may be uh, developer based on the tool third thing is product owner product owner whoever product process is completely take over by this one so th- third thing fourth one is so sme sme must have expert in all the process and the fifth thing is agile facilitator who who is the mid and point of contact for the agile development team and product owner so these are the people for build an agile rp team the next thing is ideal size of the team should not exceed seven people so we can spend much time on collaboration of issues instead of collaboration of the team so next thing is uh, you are starting to map and uh, jani map or creating a robot so we are building a use of jani map or robot identify particular activities for each step of the jani it means how the process will look out uh, what are the steps what are the validation 
how process will go the process how many steps we have to split into it um, suppose we have the uh, suppose it is a banking automation so how the banking automation how the user will start how the checkbook will re uh, revised all the uh, all the things every step by step so if you want to automate the banking process of uh, checkbook uh, request so first thing is user created the checkbook request form that's it. that is the step one inside the step one we have the activity see we have maybe user user start with the signature or user start with the, uh, send the approval of the um, mail copy or else how it would be activity of the steps it will look like here so how the activity, what are the activities we have so if you want to add these are the kanban board or card so based on that in agile we can write the uh, snippet and and how the exceptions are handling and how the control will be measured how the steps are exposed everything will be here see this uh, some of the uh, images which was taken from uh, Pavel, uh, he's a LinkedIn, he's an RP expert. So we are using that uh, some of the templates or some of the images of Pavel's. So thanks Pavel. And one more thing is uh, how to develop a robot, the third step. So developing a robot is, uh, it, it's all about nine steps. See the first one is iteration. Iteration is the first one. It, it end with deployment it not only the deployment is the end one and deployment is the uh, deployment is the important process so you can make it a nine system or else you can leave it in only eight so the iteration planning and recording user steps for each activity daily stand up you have to make sure daily stand up and train the robot how the robot you will train and test the robot Train the robot is development and uh, unit testing and everything. Test the robot, SIT and SME is acceptance. How the process wise uh, robot is good or bad and how it is looking, everything is passed up. SME acceptance and iteration demo. So once it is SME is acceptance and the demo will be for, uh, for iteration demo for internal and external and client wise. So and iteration retro before deployment iteration retro option is there. So here we have eight steps for developing a robot in agile. See it is a iterative process. Iterative means it will it will run and run and it can it is an iterative spring one, spring two, so kind of things. So it start with agile story, based on that iteration will come. So here cycle starts with iteration planning. Planning is the first thing and finishes with iteration retro. It start with planning and end with retro and will be again and again until all phases of development will be complete. See, it will, uh, see, see suppose it is, you are starting with sprint 1. Okay, this iteration planning will start and iteration retro will end. So the same thing if you start to, if your sprint 1 is completed then you are starting sprint 2, then sprint 3, sprint 4, sprint 5. So, so this with the loop it will continue come with the iteration by iteration. So how we are planning iteration, each iteration we have planning a session and uh, user stories. User stories is the uh, very big part and, uh, and the good part in actual stories, the rule of thumb method. Um, we can dependency, we have to identify dependency, what we want is robot development and user story size. You have to mention your user story size, what about, what about the storage looks like and you have to split up, everything has come under the iteration planning and recording user steps for each chapter. You have to record and you have to, you have to use problem steps recorder, it means PSR. If you type in Windows PSR, it will come with the uh, thing. It will come with the, all the steps. You have to record each and every steps. 
then daily stand up how you call how the uh, scrum is going on how the process is going on you have to make sure the daily stand ups and uh, you have to train the robo how the robo uh, looks like how to create the logo draft and the cases and the production and the testing and environment of the user um, you, um, you need testing everything come under the train the robot and testing the robot it's all about blah 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 message boxes is helpful and the next action thing sme jobs everything come under the testing the robot and uh, next thing is sme acceptance you got to get it the sme acceptance uh, for our entire process and for what robo was done uh, using manual as is under the process and iteration demo you have to give the demo to your client and stakeholders and uh, after that the release will come into the sprint so these kind of things will come under the iteration demo and uh, next one is iteration retro the retro is each iteration will reflect on the results of the release and adapt our process accordingly it will adapt our process accordingly based on the adoption so it will come under the rewarding field and adopt this technique uh, the, the technique will be adopted by the team everything so the final thing is deploying your robot during this step we are moving our robot into production environment after that the production environment sprint one is completed provided to the uh, and one more thing is we are using gradual approach uh, uh, deployment it is the first during the first two weeks after deployment it can see a peer to supervising its daily activities and can get the control in its hands it need uh, yes see uh, once deployment is completed you have uh, you have the two weeks of time you have to make sure it means development team has to make sure uh, issues and everything for this two weeks period, grace period then you have to uh, guidance approach then for the four weeks uh, switching switching period for the robot daily control deployment and supervision and locking the files and all at the end of the day supervision monitoring all this file well as control we have in place and make this and robot performed according to the plan so these are the steps involved in achieve and uh, uh, rpa and achieve so thanks guys thanks for watching this video so uh, in rpa agile we can implement easily but the thing is process must be clear which means whatever you want to do that would be clear way and uh, and uh, it would be mention and the document and the sign up and the clarity so once you get clarity then only uh, agile process will start and and it will run on based on the iteration okay guys thanks for watching this we can see more details in our next video thanks